Hello, I'm Mr. Duda with STEM with Mr. Duda. Do you have a 3D printer and things nonstop are sticking to your print bed? Or maybe your print bed just gets scratched up or it's just not working out for you? I have an alternative and it's actually cheap window glass from the hardware store and it holds up really well, even to ABS. So uh, if you want more details, stick around and I'll, uh, I'll talk about it a little bit. All right, so this is going to be a, a decently short video, but my print bed, my print bed is, it had some sort of, I don't know, material that came with it. I've had this printer for probably five years, and I'll tell you right now, it got to, it's gotten to the point where I got really, really, really done with just using the 3D printer because of how bad the print surface was, and it just sat there. And so I, I figured I need to figure out an alternative and the alternative turned out to be normal glass. Now, the benefit to this is number one, it's so easy to clean. If you notice through the glass, I have now ignored this right here. This is my green screen being weird, but uh, I've got some plastic stuck on that surface. Now that's under the glass now, so it doesn't matter, but I was continually having to scrape it. But then if I scrape it too much, I'd ruin the surface and I'd get more sticking and it was horrible and things would adhere, but then come off. I, it, it wouldn't work right. Um, and so I would try glue. I, I try all the little secrets I saw on YouTube and it didn't work. So I went to the hardware store and I bought normal glass just window pane glass. It's about two millimeters thick, maybe 2.1 or 2.2. Um, I cut it to size and I, I run my print bed at 214 degrees at the beginning to down to 210 degrees. Is that correct? I'm sorry, 114 <laughs> down to 110 um, for ABS and it works great. I A lot of people, uh, they they talk about, well, okay, if I'm adding two millimeters, I also need to make it so it doesn't go up too high because then it'll hit my extruders and I see all these custom printed things. All I did was take a little piece of the glass, put some masking tape and tape it to the back of this deck. And what it does is it hits that switch two millimeters earlier. So now the extruder doesn't go through the glass. Now, yes, this glass is very cheap, if it breaks, I can easily replace it, but I've already printed probably 15, 20 things on it, and I haven't had any issues. I print on it, everything stuck on there really hard, I let it cool off, and everything I've had comes off with hardly even touching it. If I do need to scrape it, I scrape it with this plastic piece back here. Uh, that's just like a, it looks like a guitar pick, but it's for taking apart cell phones, and it works absolutely amazingly. So, uh, the edges are pretty sharp, so you do need to be careful about that, but it's normal glass and it does not break with ABS. I saw a lot of people on YouTube videos, they talked about it, but they only printed with PLA. And I wanted to say that at least in my experience, it's totally fine for the temperatures of ABS. So hopefully that saves you some money. It will definitely save you some time. And if you still have issues with it adhering, I, I do use a glue stick once in a while, especially if it's going to be something really small that I need it to adhere and it and it works extremely well. So I hope, uh, I hope that was worth your time. Please subscribe, share this video with anyone that would benefit and have a great day.